time for Review Time Tuesday and today we have a little guest with us that will be in our video. Today I will be reviewing the Arms Reach Co-Sleeper and it is the mini style. And the one that I have is in natural. Now I'm going to show you guys what mattress I have in here. This is the mattress that I have in here. This mattress did not come with the co-sleeper. It's about an inch thick, maybe, yeah, probably like an inch thick. And just like this, we got this at Babies R Us. My husband picked it up because I actually agree. I think this mattress is very, very stiff. Oh, look, a little tiny mitten. I think this is very stiff. I'll show you. And this is a fitted sheet, sheet over top of this. Now this, I think, is pretty... It's not that comfortable, I don't think. And my child has never slept very comfortable on it. We went ahead and bought another little mattress from Babies R Us. And he sleeps way better on this than he did with just the mattress alone. Before my husband picked up this mattress, we actually tried using a changing pad because we were desperate to not put bring them in our bed and at the time we didn't have the other mattress so we, we would just put this in here and it fit perfect this is pretty firm too it's not you know where he's sinking in and can turn his head and not be able to breathe he definitely stuff really good on this as soon as we tried it and then once he saw a little mattress at the store we went ahead and picked this up and took this out of here but I thought this would actually work really well for using it for the time being and I think it worked pretty good. The co-sleeper has two modes. It is a sleeper and it's a bassinet. You can have this like freestanding with wheels or you can attach it right to your bed which is awesome and that's what we do with my son Paxton. Right Paxton? I like my co-sleeper. It comes with a security plate, which is this right here. Comes with this, and this is the thing that goes under your mattress. You put it under your mattress like this, and it flips up just like that, and it, that way it's not going anywhere. There's no way it can tip or anything, and you just tighten these straps to the adjustment of your bed. So that's a really nice feature that I love about this. The weight limit is 23 pounds, so after 23 pounds, you would transition your child into a crib or a different sleeping option that you have like a pack and play or something like that. It starts from bed height of 24 inches. For limitations, the co-sleeper and bassinet modes are only for infants up to approximately five, month, five months and that's when they start turning like rolling over and stuff. Paxton does know how to roll over but when I put him in a swaddle he does not try to roll so until then I will keep him in this until then I then I will transition him into the pack and play in our room and then he'll sleep in that for a while. Color options that come in this are natural, which I have. They come with a, t a toffee dot color, it's like a toffee color, and a turquoise geo. That's the ones that I saw that are offered. I'm sure there are different colors that are offered, but the ones that I saw were those three. And Pax is looking at his bookshelf. You see your books over there? We just read some. We just read some. The price of the co-sleeper is $164 at Baby Star Us. I saw that you can get it from Amazon right now for $149. For the people that sell it, Baby Star Us sells it, Target, Walmart, but all those stores you have to order offline. I have not seen it at the stores. I think Babies R Us had it before but I didn't see it recently and I know Amazon.com has it and that's where I found it the cheapest. The accessories that come with the co-sleeper are a fitted sheet, the mattress, and a travel bag. A leg extension is available but it does not come with the kit so if you have a taller bed you will definitely have to purchase the leg extension kit. For the ratings, the ratings on Amazon.com got four and a half stars out of five. The good reviews were the mattress is nice and firm, easy to set up, the bassinet is sturdy and stable, it has a nice storage compartment which I really like. You can store stuff on this compartment or over on this side and there's even a 
the storage compartment on the bottom. A lot of people were saying they love to be able to just attach it to their bed, reach over, grab their baby, and nurse them when in the middle of the night, which I really love also. I, don't, I like not having to get up out of bed. I can just lean over and get him, and he's basically right at my level, which is really nice, huh? For some of the bad reviews, people didn't like that the manufacturer didn't include the extension kit. It's not user-friendly. It's a little small, and the mattress is very stiff. Another comment is it's hard to break down and put up. Okay, hi guys. Sorry that I'm doing this on a different day. The first time I tried to record this, I did not position the camera down so you could see what I'm doing. So what's the point in that if you can't see how I am folding this up? So I'm kneel down so you guys can see down here what I'm doing, how I fold collapse this, and everything like that. Under here I keep an extra blanket, the manual, and the wheels that it came with. Now you can use this, not attach to your bed, and the wheels just attach to the box. And I also keep a receiving blanket in here as well. So I'm going to take this out so you guys can see how I collapse, how I take down the co-sleeper. Now before I take it down, I want to show you guys what I usually keep in my co-sleeper. Now this is, this is how it is. My head is usually over here with my legs going this way. So this is the side that is closest to my head. So I'm going to show you guys what I usually keep in here. I will usually keep a pair of headphones, extra pair of nursing pads, tissues, and a burp cloth. This side, I keep on this side because this is obviously the closest to where my head is at and I keep all my stuff there for when I'm breastfeeding. So that's all that stuff I keep in there and I also keep a chapstick in here as well. Just a little chapstick because my lips get chapped. And I also usually keep a extra lid for a bottle because I try to pump once at night So and I have a mini fridge by my bed. So I just, if I don't have a lid or I forgot the lid to the bottle, I would just have an extra lid in here. That way I can close it and put it in the mini fridge. And when I say mini fridge, I mean a baby tiny fridge, not like a miniature fridge, like a baby baby fridge. And then on this side I usually keep extra diapers. I usually keep two pairs of pajamas in there because you never know when your child is going to spoil their clothes and you may need to get extra clothes and you don't have to get out of bed, you can just have clothes right there. Another thing I have in there is cream. I'll have Aquaphor or this is coconut oil in there. That's I use Aquaphor and coconut oil for diaper cream. And then I have wipes in here as well. And when I was needing a nipple shield, I would keep my nipple shield on this side in a little container. And that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and take all this stuff out and put it aside so I can get into showing you guys how to take it down. And it also comes with a travel size bag, so it's really easy to put in here. You just have to, it's a little bit tricky to take down. It's super easy to put up, it's just hard to take down sometimes. So I will show you guys how I do that. The first thing you're going to want to do is take the bottom down first the, with your foot. So you go around, I don't know if you guys will be able to see me, but you go around and you push it up really hard. Now it's almost going to feel like you're going to break it, and that means you're doing it right because let's be honest, when you watch reviews it looks super easy, and lots of times it's not. Even when you love a product, sometimes there's flaws in it, and taking it down with this is sometimes a flaw because it is a little tricky to get down. So basically do it really hard, put your foot under the bottom and push it up. That wasn't too bad. Go to the side, pull it up, this side, put it up, and this side. There you go. And that is how you bring up the bottoms. Now you want to make sure it's in a U shape and that's the hardest part is making sure it's in a U and not just a V. And what I mean by that, it means like a little rectangle type thing. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take his mattress out. This is the top mattress that I mentioned that I used. And then this is the original mattress. So put this to the side. Now you're going to push these two buttons where it says press the lock, push them in hard, and then just pull down making the same thing, the U shape. Go around to the other side. Same thing, down here is where it is, and it's a little tricky to find it on this part. They're up here, 
push them in like that. Next side, make a U. I've got my little chapstick in here. So that's basically what it's going to look like. You can bring these together. Next thing you're going to do is tip it like this. And you'll see here you can't get this part to lock. You just bring these together. Okay, now this is the hardest part in doing this if you don't know how to do it. The directions, they try to explain it, but it's not that easy following the instructions. So we'll push them together. And you'll see right here what I'm talking about with the U shape, just like that. Okay, you're going to do the same exact thing for this part because right now it's a V. You want a U. So grab them and push them down just like that. You'll hear them click. And then just like that. So it's really easy when you know how to do it. If you're just following the instructions, it can be really difficult. But this is basically really easy. It's way easier to do than the pack and play because I've tried to put the pack and play together. And if you're just using the main part, it could be easy. But when you're taking your newborn and you have the bassinet and the changing table that connects, connects to it, it's super crazy hard. And I actually just put my pack and play in it and I left my bassinet and changing pad just in the attic because I could not figure out how it fit back in. So this is so easy. You don't have to worry about the changing pad or anything. And I will show you how to put this around. And all you do is you grab the mattress, kind of just like the pack and play, and wrap it around. I'm going to tilt that down. And kind of push the materials and all that stuff in here so you can get it closer. And you're going to take the straps, just like the pack and play, and pull it tight, just like that. Other side. I hope you guys can see me in this video. Just like that. So it's really easy, and especially, it's going to be hard the first time you do it. And you're going to be like, oh my god, this is a pain. But I'm telling you, once you do it a couple times, it's definitely easy. I really recommend practicing taking it down at home because it's just so, it can be hard to put, take down when you're, you know, in a rush trying to check out and you're trying to figure out how to get this thing down. So definitely practice it at home. Now I'm going to show you guys how to, well I'll put it in the bag just to show you guys, you know, it fits right into the bag, it's not like it's hard to get in. And then I'm going to show you guys how to put it back to get, put it back up. Me and my mom and my husband are going away this weekend and this is what we will be taking. We will not be taking the pack and play. I really haven't used the pack and play. I used it one time in the very beginning to see how he slept in the bassinet part and he really didn't seem to sleep that well. So then I just went back to this and he sleeps perfect in this and we have no problems. So as you can see, it's not like you're squishing this in trying to get this bag over. It goes right in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to put it up. Okay, now you're going to do, put the tops up first. Just pushing that, pulling those up. All these are like perfectly straight. Now you're going to do the bottom. Just spread them out a little bit to get it going. Now you're going to push on this pretty hard until it clicks or with your hand. Just like that. Just push down on the center kind of like where you got it to go down. And you may need to make sure, sometimes you need to make sure that you actually step on it pretty hard. You might think you're going to break it, but you're not. There you go. You'll hear that hard click. Same thing. I'll show you guys here. I'm pushing it down. Make sure it clicks. And if it doesn't, it's where this flap is. Put your foot in here and push it down hard. Next part. I use my hand until I feel like I can't use my hand any longer. And then I'm just going to put my foot in. 
and put it down. Like I said, it sounds like it's going to break, but it's not. And then all you do is put your mattress in. Like that. It doesn't come with this part, but this is what we use. And there you go. It's that easy. It's really easy to get up. It's easy to get down as long as you know how to put it down properly. And like I said, definitely the hardest part for me was learning after you put the legs in to get it to make that U shape, to squeeze them together, push them together really hard, and that's how you get the U. And then this part, you just, I'm not going to demonstrate this obviously, you just, we'll go on this side. Every bed tightness will be different. I have a full size bed, unfortunately. I cannot wait to get a king. And you just put this in, slide it like this, and then once it reaches the outside of the bed, you flip it so you can't, you know, if it was a tip over, it wouldn't be able to. And you just tighten each side however tight you need it. And that is how you put up and put down the co-sleeper. But all right, you guys, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you're wondering on getting this, and if I recommend it, I definitely recommend this. My final thought is it is amazing. I would definitely purchase this again. And I hope I don't have to because I hope this will last until I'm done having children. But this has worked out really well for us. I like that it's a lot smaller than a pack and play. And it just seems like it, it belongs near my bed. And it, I love how it attaches and I don't have to worry about it tipping. And I can just lean over, grab my son, and breastfeed. So I really enjoy this and I definitely think it deserves four to five stars. Four stars because it can be tricky to take down if you don't know how to do it. But after you know how to do it and you learn and you practice, it becomes really easy. So I definitely recommend this product. Alright you guys, I'll see you guys in my next Review Time Tuesday.